Welcome everyone to jobskillshare.org where we learn, teach, and share our job skills. Now, if you're brand new to this channel or this site, you might be thinking to yourself that what is he talking about? Well, you need to register. It's a free course, basically. We teach free courses. We share our skills. So you need to first register and then log in. So to jump into this section of Office 365, we need to log in here. And once you log in to your username and password, you will see this right here. Now, since you already subscribed to this course, you need to click on My Courses. And you will just go down and find Office 365. Should be there. No? Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Office 365 Administrator Certificate. And then you have two options. Learning path. You will come over here. 100%? No, that's not true. We still have to do a lot to get to the 100%, guys. All right. So we are in this section. We finished this section. We made a video. And if you guys click on Setup for Office 365 now, you should be able to see this video right it says 5,000 right here I mean it's 15,000 I, I, I need to fix that I guess it's just a screen cut but anyways alright so what we need to do is we need to go to the section dashboard now and talk about this section now of course there's no video because I'm making it once I'm done with this video you will see this section right here so let's get into office portal.office.com all right Oh, uh, just because I was logged in. If you're not logged in, you need to put your email and password. Oh my god, okay. So you need to put your email and password, and then what you need to do, you need to get to the admin section, okay? I guess I just, wow, it's just jumping around. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go back. I'm just going to go back here and then click here and then click on admin so now what we're going to do is we will talk about the dashboard section we already talked about the the, the setup part now we need to talk about the dashboard now in the dashboard if once you click on it you can just click on this arrow right here and then you will see the top we're gonna to start from here welcome to office 365 watch the video to get an overview we're not gonna watch that so it's just basically like saying you know this this you have this and just what I'm doing right now it's basically that but I'm doing in details they're just uh, highly edited video and quick quick overview and then you have set of services that's something we're not gonna to touch right now then you have download your software this is where you can basically Download your apps, download Office 2013, and if there's a new one uh, that will be all available out there, any apps re uh, related stuff will be in download section. Get information on Yammer. That's if you have this service, then you can get that information, but we're not going to watch that either. So the things that I want to focus on, on here in the dashboard is something that if you are an administrator, you will be using this section. Uh, pretty much every morning when you come in to work and then you open hey is everything okay uh, and later on I will show you guys app to also check this stuff on your app but for now you guys can just check the main dashboard and just uh, look at it and see what's going on in the service health as you will see there's two issues so you can see right here one two and it tells you what's going on identity service in extended recovery you're like what is that so you click on that and then it tells you oh okay this is what it is and then you can actually click on the details to find out even more about it in a lot of details I mean there will be like you know what happened to it and we did this we did that we did this we did that and now it's up and running the reason you need this information is that let's say for example you have a vendor and you are the service like you are the basically provider or an IT person so you need to give some type of explanation right if a vendor say hey my site is down can you look at it then you are going to say oh Microsoft is having this issue and this is this you can't just say site is down okay so Microsoft is, is down I can't do anything yeah it's like that but you know you have to provide some professional answer to the person so 
that's uh, how I mean it's kind of happens all the time now not all the time but uh, especially when there's like a portal issues and things like that then you know that's the first thing people check and phones stop working and all that so you need to come here and then this is how you will be dealing with the real world scenario and using this uh, little um, text to kind of like you know close your call or just do something with it then you have another just like that you have other sections all these services are like you know cloud services so then you need to look into it there's no issues we're good then you have this section service request if you guys remember something important if you guys important something important um, uh, ticketing system if you guys did that course then this should be very very familiar because that's a ticketing system basically you guys can come and open a ticket it's a request and things like that you know you can just click on this plus sign and start creating a ticket now if you look at it right here create a service request and you can just like you know by titles they can have it like if you, these are like sections so if you are having an issue with your mail and calendar and things like that or subscription you will need to pick one of these or you can just go to your your see, uh, see all support tickets and then you can create one over here and then you will see the status assigned to this is something we did a full course a ticketing system course on it remember so that's the part of service uh, section now other thing we have is mail protection then you will see like how many mail messages received and then how many got filtered uh, this can also give you a lot of information like for example you just see zero and everything is getting filtered then there's something wrong with your setting if you see a lot of it getting filtered then also you need to check it I mean a lot of, a lot will be there but you know if it's like too crazy and people are complaining that I'm not getting I'm not receiving this email from this university or this professor or this that then you need to look into your settings is there something missing message center is basically um, another messaging part of like from Microsoft and tells you file experience is changing features and these and th these are just messages and giving you guys a little heads up on what's changing and what's adding and what's updated uh, included services if you have uh, other services you will see it right here um, that's the part of the left side of the dashboard now let's go back to um, the main uh, section again and see what we have more in there so now you have this let's just go here let me click on the setup and then I'll go back again to the dashboard so this is what we have uh, sometimes you guys will see uh, where did my oh here overview it's like where did my <laughs> uh, main links went to this these, these are the overview section right here so and you can uh, basically plan a maintenance and you know if they have something here you will see a schedule maintenance in on here okay what's what else is on the desktop here desktop uh, name actually uh, let's talk about name this is a company name you can change your company name you'll have to I think contact Microsoft on this because I think they'll have to um, do something with it improve the names or something because you know some other company might have the same name so um, I'm not sure I'll have to check that so we'll put that in our notes section this section is important for help this guys or anyone who does like you know normal calls or anyone I mean you might be a person administrating this whole office 365 this is where you will get a call quickly call quick call like hey uh, we need to reset our password for this person so you just come here you click on reset and just change the password uh, maybe you have a new call from HR that we have a new person starting on Monday or a new temp, temp starting on Monday you need to do it from here uh, quick way this is shortcuts but we're not going to go through because this is covered under the user section so we're not going to waste too much time on that and this is another download software and assign license and that's also under user section this is the mobile app that I was talking about you guys can basically click on this or the Android or mobile Windows so you guys can get the app and that's also going to be another separate section so that's it for the dashboard on office 365 we covered almost everything that was on the dashboard and next time when we come we will start on users and that's going to be a little bit bigger because it's gonna have scenarios and things like that so see you guys in the user section thank you